Last week, Microsoft Ads announced that any advertiser already using the platform can start using connected TV campaigns. Now, we've seen this campaign format available in all of our Microsoft Ad client accounts, so hopefully you have it within yours too. We'll first cover where you could potentially have your connected TV ads placed, and then we'll walk through the full setup so you get an understanding of what specs are needed to get these campaigns running. This Paid Media Pros video is sponsored by Optio, the smarter, more efficient way to manage Google Ads. Optio's platform operates as a second pair of eyes on your accounts, regularly monitoring performance trends to make data-driven optimization suggestions for keyword strategies, bid optimizations, ad copy creation, and more. Better yet, you can save time by implementing their suggested changes directly in their user-friendly interface. Optio is extending their free trial period for Paid Media Pros viewers for 60 days, meaning you get two full months of testing and using Optio on your accounts before you pay a dime. If you're interested in giving it a shot, click the link on the screen right now or in the video description to get started. Before we set up a connected TV campaign within Microsoft Ads, I did promise to show you where your ads could potentially appear. Now what we see on the screen right now isn't just for connected TVs. These are where any of your video ads in Microsoft could appear. But if you're familiar with the current state of TV options, you can probably pick out which ones are for TV. There's Hulu, Discovery Plus, Max, formerly known as HBO Max, Pluto TV, Fox, Samsung TV Plus, and Vivo. The options on the bottom row are for other video campaigns using Microsoft's audience network. So now you know what platforms your connected TV ads could appear, let's actually go through a campaign setup. When you're in Microsoft Ads, go ahead and start creating a new campaign. For connected TV, you have to choose the campaign goal of video views. Now we did already create a video for video views campaigns within Microsoft Ads. You can watch that video here, but that was a while ago before connected TV was an option. So still click on this campaign goal. And there you should see the option to choose connected TV ads. After you have that option selected, you can head down and click next. So then go ahead and change your campaign name. Next, you can see you could update your daily budget. I'm just gonna leave it as is for now. And then we see the bid strategy. It is cost per completed view. We cannot change this to something else. If you chose the other online video ad format, I believe that one's off of a CPM. But with cost per completed view, Microsoft says that they try to optimize bids based on the cost that you would want to pay for a completed view for your ad. So really not much else within the campaign settings. So let's save and go to the next step. Next, go ahead and update your ad group name. I put this name for now because typically I will try to put the targeting option somewhere within my ad group name. You do have more options than just remarketing. We will see very, very soon, but that's just what I'm going to use for this particular ad group. But there we see the option to put in the bid for our cost per completed view. Now, I would never try to pay $5 for a completed view, but even if I wanted to, you see we can't do that anyway. Because Microsoft's saying the number should be between one cent or 10 cents. So in this case, I'm gonna max it out. When I'm running YouTube ads, and that's not even a guaranteed finished view, my max cost per views are much higher than 10 cents. So I'm more than comfortable starting at the highest amount here. You see right below the bid, there's a frequency limit setting. Depending on your budget, and how many times you may get in front of the same user, especially with remarketing, which I'm probably gonna use, you may wanna control how many times users can see your ad. So if we look at the options, you can set a limit where a user can only see your ad an X amount of times per hour, per day, or per week. This could be something that you may have to play around with. So for this campaign, I'll just choose week, and then I'm gonna set it as 10 times per week. You will be able to go back within the ad group settings and change these later if you want to. But now if we go back to the other targeting options, which probably look pretty familiar with you, you have the same location targeting options that you have within Microsoft Ads. It's gonna to default to everywhere where you can run Microsoft Ads. This particular client does wanna stick with these two countries, but you can go down, choose specific states, and even go down to the zip code level. We see ages, it's gonna be pretty standard demographics here. Closing that out and going down to gender, the three basic ones that have always been within Microsoft. And there we see some options for audiences to target. Scrolling down a little bit, I'm gonna stick with all visitors. These are just the remarketing lists that we have created within this particular account. We see we have more options than just remarketing lists. You can also choose customer match lists. Have you uploaded your email list to Microsoft? You can use Microsoft's in-market audiences. Here are the 997 options all throughout a variety of different categories. So maybe you can just search for some that really fit your business. 
this particular client is in manufacturing. So if I want to expand my reach a little bit and cast a wider net outside of my audiences that are already familiar with my brand, I could look at doing that with in-market audiences. Now what Microsoft does say, if I hover over this, is that not everyone has custom audiences and in-market audiences yet. So if you're not seeing them within the account, you're probably just gonna to have to come back and check soon. I close that out, we can look at the next option, which is gonna be a newer targeting option available within Microsoft Ads. And that is going to be the genre of the programming where your ads could be placed. In this case, I'm doing remarketing. So if I think about remarketing, people have already been to my website, I'm using remarketing audiences that show deeper intent, or potentially if you are using customer list audiences where you wanna get in front of those people no matter what, you could be okay with all genres. But if you're using connected TV campaigns to get in front of a newer audience, you may wanna be a little bit more picky about where your ads are being shown and who you're getting in front of. And sometimes you might find certain genres that really fit your business or your target audience. So if I click this option and scroll down a little bit, you can see genre options for TV programming. I'm not gonna go through all 75 of these, but as I keep scrolling, you're gonna see they are higher level, but maybe you have reviewed audience data or you have specific persona data where some of these genre options could really fit your account. If I hover over any of these, they don't drill down further. You're just gonna to have to choose the options that are available. But for this industrial manufacturing client, I'm not gonna choose any of these. I'm gonna stick with all genres because we are using the all site visitors remarketing audience. And there we see next final step within your ad group settings is going to be the ad schedule. When do you want your ads to run? Choose your target dates. If you want this campaign to start in the future on a specific date or end at a specific date, you have the option. And then you choose if you want the time zone to be the accounts time zone or the ad viewers time zone. But I'm good with these options for now. So I'm gonna save and go to the next step and that'll be creating our ads. Now with anything in terms of videos in Microsoft, whether it's a video extension or any video ads, you need the video file. So if I go and click on this question mark next to videos, I'm gonna highlight this section here. And on the screen is where we see the specs needed for videos within Microsoft ads. You see the time of the video must be between six seconds and 120 seconds or two minutes. There you see the recommended file formats, aspect ratios, resolutions, and the maximum file size of 10 gigabytes. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna add a PayMedia Pros video. It took a little bit for the video to upload, even though it's not the full two minutes, you can see it's under a minute, still processing, and then we added our final URL. From the connected TV standpoint, I'm honestly not sure what the final URL could do. I know on the YouTube side with Google, if someone's watching from a TV device, someone might get notification via the YouTube app where they could click on, an, where they could click on a call to action extension. Microsoft doesn't have anything like that. If you know that there's some sort of call to action button with these ads, please let everyone know in the comments below. But this just might be the same type of format for the other video campaigns. They're just doing it for TV. So I'll click save and my connected TV campaign is created. You can always go to your columns, look at modifying the columns. I'm gonna click on performance. If we scroll down, we do see options for video views, view through rate, average cost per view, total watch time, average watch time per impression, plus a lot of the basic ones like impressions, delivery, overall spend, those sort of things to really monitor your video engagement metrics for this particular campaign. At the time I'm recording this video, the public announcement that connected TV ads were available outside of a beta was just two days ago. So I have not launched an actual campaign using connected TV ads in Microsoft yet. I'm looking forward to get started to see how it's gonna perform for a few of my clients, especially the ones that can use the in-market audience and get in front of certain genres of TV that are perfect for their brand. If you were one of those who did get early access to this and have already been running campaigns, I'd love to hear how they've been performing. What types of video assets have you been using? Almost like you're testing out different types of commercials. But you can see the setup is pretty easy. And I hope that in the future, we get more features in this type of campaign to not only give us more control, but really to give us more options of who we could reach. As always, if you have any questions on the campaign setup, or you just wanna leave a comment on what you think about connected TV campaigns and Microsoft ads, let everyone know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button.